bat fans and collectors. Welcome back to the Bat Cave with me, Tony Battell. The bat signal is lit. And today, we're going to have a look at the Jada classic TV series Batmobile with die cast figures and lights and sound. First of all, um, I noticed there's a lot of these on eBay, and they're saying it's a 1 18th scale. So it is not. And so for you collectors that are interested in why I know that, stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to use math. Okay, let's get right to it. So uh, the box is really a very sturdy collector's box. It's, uh, it's made of sturdy cardboard, and it's laminated. And uh, it's definitely something you want to save and uh, to use to, to store your Batmobile. Now inside, the very first thing you see are Batman and Robin. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look here. There they are. Uh, I'm going to take them out. They are uh, die-cast figures. And um, they're mostly metal, as, since they are die-cast. However... The uh, cape on Batman is vinyl, and it does kind of move, so it's kind of nice. And um, I'll go into the, the scale on this a little later on, uh, if you stay tuned to the end of the, the video. Uh, here is Robin. Uh, he also has a vinyl cape, uh, but he, um, his arms are also vinyl, which is interesting, because Batman's are metal. So, and he looks like he's ready to, you know, go wham-pow. Batman's also ready for action. So let's take a look at the Batmobile. And we'll take it out. And uh, as you can see, it's a very nice likeness of the 1966 George Barris Batmobile. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit. You can see there's nice detail on the bottom. The wheels have great detail. Uh, the front is, is very nicely done. Uh, the sign inside, uh, you can see um, the interior, how nicely that is as well. We'll do a little more detail in the vanity shot. Um, there's a switch right here that turns on the lights. And one of the great things I, I like about this, you can see there's uh, front lights, there's uh, rear lights, and uh, also the really cool blinking police light on the top. Very cool. The doors open, both sides. It's nice detail on the inside of the, of the doors. Um, the hood opens. And you can see the turbine engine inside. Also, the back uh, opens. It's a little difficult. There you go. And you can see the crime fighting, the bat crime fighting computer in the back of the Batmobile. Very cool. And oops, be careful. Some of the this is a little plastic piece here. The red, most the body of it is mostly die cast. But, uh, of course, the, the, uh, this is plastic here, and um, this is a little plastic piece. The little pipes that come up are plastic, but they are nicely chromed. The wheels are rubber, so that's a, a nice touch. And, of course, they have the little bat logo there. And, um, you know, in the show, they turn it, you know, like, like this. <laughs> In the shot. Close the door. So uh, this is really nice. So let's um, let's go to the vanity shot, and once again, you collectors, stay tuned, and we will discuss the scale of this Batmobile. So here is the vanity shot of the 1966. George Barris Batmobile for the TV show Batman and Robin. 
Uh, as you can see, it's got nice detail. I've sped it up here, so uh, you see the light on top blinking a little faster. Here you see the, the doors open, the hood and the trunk, the um, nice chrome wheels, and uh, all the lights are working. Now I do have one pet peeve about this model. And that is this piece here. It is the bat foam. And you can see it's molded in one piece with its cradle. Now, I think they had a production issue with this because um, the bat foam cannot be put in its cradle. And the way the piece is molded, it's upside down. So um, I think what you, and, and by the way, they're all like this. I've seen several of these Batmobiles and they each have this issue. Uh, you could put some glue in the cradle and you probably could glue, super glue the bat phone into the cradle um, if you're careful. Hello and welcome back collectors who are going to um, be interested in uh, the scale of these figures and also of the Batmobile itself. So you'll notice that the figures actually are pretty small. So let's um, well, let's say that Batman is six feet tall. Okay, so uh, we'll measure him and see really how big he is. He's uh, here we go. <laughs> He's three inches tall, okay? So now we know that a 1 18th scale figure is the same size as the original Star Wars figures. Here's one right here. And you can see that uh, they're four inches tall. So this is Harrison Ford. He's four inches tall. He is undisputably a 1 18th inch scale figure. So how can Batman possibly be a 1/18th scale figure. If the Batmobile here was a 1/18th scale Batmobile, Harrison Ford would be able to fit perfectly into the Batmobile. But you can see he looks like a giant. There's no way that this could be a 1/18th scale Batmobile because Batman simply uh, will not a 1/18th scale Batman would not be able to fit in the Batmobile. As you can see, he would be the same size as Harrison Ford. I don't happen to have a 118th scale Batman, so Harrison Ford is standing in for Batman. So, um, now I did promise that we would do the math. So let's go over to the Bat board and do the math. Uh, let's look at the characters first. So a six foot human is 72 inches. So this is how we do a scale. So uh, we want uh, one twelfth scale. So we divide that by 12. And we find out how tall he is. He'd be six inches. So that's that would be this scale. So here's Batman as a six inch figure, roughly. Well, he's almost exactly six inches. So, um, and then let's drop down to uh, an 18th scale, 1 18th scale. So that would be uh, 72 inches uh, for six feet divided by 18 equals four inches. So that would be Harrison Ford. That's the original size of these Star Wars figures. He is a 1 18th scale figure. So then let's take a look at uh, the Batman that came with the Jada. So he's only three inches tall, right? So that would mean that if he's three inches, it's 72 divided by three equals 24. So that looks like a 24th scale. Now in all fairness, he's a little taller, okay? He's maybe three and a quarter. But, you know, clearly uh, he's next to a real 118th scale figure, which Harrison Ford, you can see he is smaller. Now, how big, what about the Batmobile? What's the scale of the actual Jada Batmobile? Well, the real Batmobile is 225 inches in length, so it's almost 20 feet. So now the 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 what the Jada Batmobile is 11 inches. It's almost exactly. Now if we divide it.
by 11, we come out to 20.45. So it's possible someone thought that, well, that's closer to 118th scale than it is to 124th scale. So that might be where the gray area is, okay, in all fairness. However, uh, if this was really a 118th scale uh, Batmobile, you would be able to fit Harrison Ford in there easily. As always, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the space below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, and the, press the little up the there that went the little button down here, and um, I think you'll see now why I think this is a, a one twenty fourth scale. Certainly, the figures are one twenty fourth. The Batmobile may be slightly out of scale. I think it came out to uh, twenty a twentieth scale, which may be where the confusion comes from. Um, anyway. Um, it's certainly not 118th scale because there's no way you could fit Harrison Ford in the Batmobile. So, I'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bat